That's one of my worst affected areas. Marty Murphy welcomes today's rain. His tree lot should be a lush green by now, but it's dotted by that reddish brown after frost damaged many of the branches. That area there, about 75% uh, or so of those trees will not be marketable this year. Some people have tree lots that 90% or 100% of their trees look that red. Plucking off those dead clusters will save some this year. Others, he says, will still be struggling years from now. This will set this back several, several years. And he's not alone. There is widespread damage to balsam fir trees across the province after temperatures plummeted to minus six in early June. This isn't a frost, this is a freeze. These are evergreens, of course, but in June, they're not prepared for the cold. In the fall, the tree produces alcohol, and that goes into the cell structure, and the, and the alcohol keeps the cell structure from freezing in the winter, so it acts as an antifreeze, really. According to some estimates, the industry will take a $15 million hit this year, plus the trickle-down effect. There's going to be a lot less money spent in rural Nova Scotia. A lot less money. Keddy is pushing the federal and provincial governments to launch an assistance program. He says 80 growers showed up to an information session he organized. It's pretty disheartening. And everyone's looking for answers is how do we move forward? He says he doesn't think Canadians will see the price of Christmas trees increase this year because the prices have already been established. Meanwhile, farmers assess the damage. Uh, nothing like this has ever happened uh, 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 before that most people know of, and uh, so uh, it will take time to see how it plays out. A full recovery could be years away. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, New Ross, Nova Scotia. And this is a big industry we're talking about. Canada exported more than $43 million worth of Christmas trees in 2016. Nova Scotia exports a lot of those, the second most in the country. But Quebec is Canada's undisputed champion. More than half of exported Canadian trees come from Quebec. And they're sent all over the world, including Australia, Thailand and the UAE.